Hola, ¿qué tal amigos? Lesson number 234, 234 if clauses. Now, this is at the very highest level of Spanish communication and Spanish grammar. This is going to take a while to go over, but we'll introduce it, we'll practice, and it'll come and appear again here and there, and we will get better and better at it as we go. All right, if clauses. As you can guess, all of these if clauses, there are four, start with the word if. Let's look at A. PP means we're using present tense with present tense, verb number three with verb number three. The usage is this. It's used to show what happens, what always happens, and refers to the present. Again, used to show what always happens, it refers to the present. Example, si yo estudio, saco buenas notas. If I study, I get good grades. If I do exercises, I feel well. Si hago ejercicios, me siento bien. If this, then that. Both verbs are present tense. They're statements of fact. If it rains, everything gets wet. Si llueve, todo se moja. If we win, many people are happy. Si ganamos, muchos estamos felices. Or muchos están felices. If I get a good grade, my mom is happy. Si saco una buena nota, mi mamá está feliz. If I work, I earn money. Si trabajo, gano dinero. If I am tired, I take a nap. Si tengo sueño, tomo una siesta. If I have a car, I need to put gas in it. Si tengo un carro, necesito ponerle gasolina. So, the PP, if clause, is present, present. You're referring to something that happens and it refers to the present. So, it always happens, right? Si estudio, saco buenas notas. If this happens, then that happens. Now, let's go to B, PF, present, future. Present is VN3 and future is VN6. Now, the usage is, it's used to show what will happen, referring to the future. Si yo estudio, sacaré buenas notas. You're referring to a future time. If I study like when I'm in college or for this upcoming test, I will get good grades, okay? If I eat well, I will feel better. Si como bien, me sentiré mejor. If we play well, we will win. Si jugamos bien, ganaremos. If I work, I will earn a lot of money. Si trabajo, ganaré mucho dinero. If it rains, everything will get wet. Si llueve, todo se mojará. So we have PP, present, present. We have PF, present, future. And now we use XY. X is representing the past subjunctive VN9 and conditional VN7. These are also known as present, unreal situations. Okay, the usage. Now it's used to show what would happen. It refers to the present, an unreal situation about the present. Example, if I studied, which I don't, I would get good grades, which I don't. Si yo estudiara, sacaría buenas notas. If I, if I ate more, I wouldn't get hungry. Si comiera más, no tendría hambre. Si comiera más, if I ate more, which I don't, that's contrary to fact. I would not get hungry. No tendría hambre. All right, let's try another one. If I worked, I would earn a lot of money. I'm not working. Si yo trabajara, ganaría mucho dinero. If we played better, we would win. Si jugáramos mejor, ganaríamos. Now you can see, to handle these, the, the PP, the present present, in section A, point A, those are present tense. That's easy. Um, B, present and future, that's pretty easy. When you step up to C, you're stepping up to the big leagues, Okay. Past subjunctive, verb number nine, and conditional, verb number seven. We went over these in our sentence starters. We practiced them a lot, and we will go over those again. And again, I refer you to verb charts, section eight of the Professor Pablo Spanish Learning Systems PDF. Go to section eight for the verb charts, and we'll get to podcasts on those as well. Okay, let's try another with C. Uh, past subjunctive. Let's see. Remember, ara, yera, ara, yera, ara, yera. If I spoke Spanish, I would be happy. 
si hablara español, estaría feliz. Remember the conditional is ia for all verbs. There are some irregulars, not many, but most verbs you just take the infinitive like estar and slap the ia on the end for I, I would. Let's try another one. If it rained, everything would get wet. Si yo viera, todo se mojaría. If they came, I would be really happy. Si ellos vinieran, yo estaría muy feliz. Now let's take a look at D, H, H. This is a past perfect subjunctive, verb number 92. What does 92 mean? Don't be scared. We know 9 is past subjunctive, the ara yera, and we know 2 is a past participle, the ado ido. Conditional perfect is a 72. Not to be scared, 7 is a conditional and 2 is the past participle, also known as past unreal situations, okay? Usage, used to show what would have happened, refers to the past, an unreal past situation. Example, if I had studied, I would have gotten good grades. Si yo hubiera estudiado, habría sacado buenas notas. An alternate form would be, si yo hubiera estudiado, hubiera sacado buenas notas. You could say, habría sacado, I would have gotten good grades, or hubiera sacado buenas notas. They are both acceptable. So let's try another one down here. Um, if it had rained, everything would have gotten wet. Si hubiera llovido, todo se habría mojado, or todo se hubiera mojado. Let's try another one. Um, if I had worked more, I would have earned a lot of money. Si yo hubiera trabajado más, habría ganado más dinero or hubiera ganado más dinero. If we had played better, we would have won the ball game. Si hubiéramos jugado mejor, habríamos ganado el partido. If you had called, I would have talked to you. Si hubieras llamado, te hubiera hablado. I would have talked to you. Let's go back up to A. PP is present present. If this happens, then that happens, right? If this happens, then that happens. If it rains, everything gets wet. Si llueve, todo se moja. If I work, I earn money. Si trabajo, gano dinero. If I study, I get good grades. Si estudio, saco buenas notas. If I run, I get tired. Si corro, me canso. Okay, A is pretty easy. Present, present. Present, future for B. If it rains, everything will get wet. Si llueve, todo se mojará. I'm telling you right now, you have to get to the point where you can manipulate these verb tenses. Remember, there are only 10 things you can do to a verb. Leave it alone, that's infinitive, verb number zero. Verb number one is the ing, the ando yendo, present participle. Verb number two is the ado ido, the past participle, the ed form. And then verb number three is present, verb number four is preterite, verb number five is imperfect, verb number six is future. Verb number seven is conditional. Verb number eight is present subjunctive. And verb number nine is past subjunctive. Okay, so with our sentence starters, we did a lot of work with subjunctives. We had some conditional, of course, as well. And now we're seeing it again here. We're going to go over it on the grammar charts, and it will keep reappearing in all the materials in Professor Pablo Spanish Learning Systems. You will get this. You will get good at it. <clears throat> Let's go down to B again. Present tense. I'm going to assume that you know the present tense well. The future, you just take the infinitive, right, and put the ending a, os, a, amos, or on, on the end, unless it's an irregular verb, and there are very few of those. So let's let's try an example. Let's say like, um, if the car is dirty, I will wash it. Si el carro está sucio, lo take lavar and put the accented e on the end. Si el carro está sucio, lo lavaré. <clears throat> If the dog is hungry, I will give him food. Si el perro tiene hambre, le daré comida. If it's necessary, I will do it. Si es necesario, lo haré. If you want, I will help you. Si tú quieres, yo te ayudaré. If I can, I will go. Si puedo, iré. Good. Let's go to C. Past subjunctive, ara, yera, ara, yera, ara, yera. AR verbs end in some form of ara. ER and IR verbs end in some form of yera. But we know that if you just take the ellos form of the preterite 
and from that, change the O to A at the end, you will have the past subjunctive for all forms with no, zero, zilch, no exceptions. Let's take the verb ir, probably the most irregular verb on the planet. Let's take the verb ir. Uh, if I went, I would, I would, um, I would be happy. Si yo fuera, estaría feliz. Conditional is easy. It's like future. Take the infinitive. Instead of a, a, sa, a, mosan, we're putting ia with an accent on the i on the end. Okay? Ia, ias, ia, ia, mos, ia. Okay. If I worked, si yo trabajara, follow the pattern. Right? Imitate and create. If you know si yo estudiara, as I studied, then if I worked would be si yo trabajara. Si yo trabajara, ganaría dinero. If I worked, I would earn money. Let's try this one. Uh, if I were sleepy, I would take a nap. Tener sueño. All right, to get to the past subjunctive, take the tuvieron, change that O to an A. So if I were sleepy, si yo tuviera sueño, tomaría una siesta. If it were necessary, I would do it. Si fuera necesario, yo lo haría. Haría is one of the irregulars in future and conditional. If um, I ran more, I would feel better. Si corriera más, me sentiría mejor. Okay, let's go down to D again. Okay, D. This is going to have an hubiera with an ado ido and abria with an ado ido. That's the pattern. Hubiera with an ado ido, abria with an ado ido. All right? Imitate and create. If I had studied, I would have gotten a better grade. Si hubiera estudiado, habría sacado una mejor nota. Gosh, you got to pat yourself on the back. If you can start creating some of these XYs and double H, wow, this is powerful. I mean, really, really powerful. Let's try another one. Um, if I had read the book, I would have gotten a better grade. So we got leer and sacar. If I had read, si yo hubiera leído, accent on the I, si yo hubiera leído el libro, I would have gotten, habría sacado una mejor nota. Let's try one more. Um, if he had played, we would have won. Si él hubiera jugado, habríamos ganado. All right, so we'll leave it at that for right now. There is your introduction to if clauses. This is Professor Pablo signing off. Cambio, fuera.